He who offers to me with devotion a leaf, a flower, a fruit, a cup of water, a few drops of water, that offering of love from striving soul I accept to me. Look how beautiful it is. You see, Flowers, leaves, you see here we always, you know, in our prayer, we always offer flowers, leaves, fruits, water. You know, these things are easily attained by everybody. It's not big things, you know, but the Lord is asking, you know. He don't, he don't ask anything, you know. It's not through expectation, you know. It is a bhakta, whatever he is offering to me, whatever desire, whatever he has inside of his heart, you know, the most simple things. He's offering it, the offering of love. That the sacrifice of love, that what he takes. And that's what he accepted. It's not the flower. The flower stay here and finish, disappeared. The water, the fruit is offered in front of him. Now. And then after that we take it as prashad. But what he take in reality, you know, is this love which is uh, in the heart of the devotee. And he is not from the mind, you know. It's not from the knowledge. It's from the simplicity in the most simple things, you know. From devotion, the one which offers a leaf, a flower, few drops of water with gratitude, with mind is full, which is focused on the divine which is focused on the Lord Himself. That offering of love, He accepts. He whose mind is pure. The word, last word, pratyat tatmana, you know, the pure minded one, the one which mind is focused on the awareness of God, which is not, uh, you don't uh, have any selfish motive, whose heart is pure. From that heart, he accepts the love. He's a God of love, you know, and everything rotates, whatever he does, whatever he is, he do it for the sake of his devotee for the sake of the people, for the sake of love, you know, he manifested in Jesus, for the sake of love he gave his life. For the sake of love, he value everything, not because of what it is, you know, it's not because of the gold or whatever but people offer to him. No. This don't make anything any different for him. He said through the heart of a devotee when one he who have offered a few drops of water, just a small tulsi leaves, that's it for him. More than that he this brings great joy to him. Krishna is expressing this complete surrender of the devotee, you know, and he did not long for anything else, you know. Such, a, such devotee, he longed for, you know. But the heart is pure, full of love. When here you can 
hear many stories you know, of saints which just for love, you know, they have surrendered to God, nothing else. And there, the one is saying, such a devotee is the greatest. They have reached the highest form of bhakti. The example, the story of Vidur. You know Vidur, huh? Who is he? Huh? The Ampro, this is also an Ampro, this is a minister. Hmm? Yeah, brother of the blind king. You see, the other one was blind, he was a king, he was sitting in his palace. But yet his brother was very simple. Huh? And lived very simple, you know, he was not attached. He was his little brother. He was always young. So Vidur, when Krishna came as a messenger to Hastinapur, you know, to avoid the war, everybody, you know, wanted to invite Krishna for food. You know. Everybody was saying, Krishna, you know, they know who Krishna is, you know, they know he's famous, everybody knows him, you know, all his leader. Everybody wanted to have him at their place, you know, Duryodhan, you know, Shakuni and so on, you know. They were all preparing, you know, saying, please come and eat at our place. Krishna declined, you know, the invitation. And he said, you know, to the real and you know, I don't come, I, um, you see, people eat because of two things, you know, they, they want, they eat first because uh, they have, how say, they are starving, you know, when one is hungry, or they eat for the pleasure of eating. Two, 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 two times, you know. And Krishna said to, to Duryodhana, when Duryodhana uh, asked him to come, he said, well, right now, I'm not hungry. And I don't have great pleasure in eating. You know, it's also how one is offering the food. Because Duryodhana's mind was fully <coughs> negative, you know, was fully booked. <laughs> Uh, so Krishna said, you know, how you are offering the food, it also is very important when you do prayer, with which attitude, you know, you are offering the food. The so Lord Krishna said, no, I am not, even Peshma invited uh, him to his house, you know. Lord Krishna refused, you know, all. Then he, he himself self invited himself at the house of Vidur. You see, Vidur in his mind, he never fought, you know, because of his simplicity, because of his, uh, you know, his state. And I said, Krishna is a king, you know, he's an emperor of uh, Dwarka, you know. You know he's even, he knew who Krishna was, you know, also. He knew that Krishna is Narayana himself, you know. <laughs> the how? Well, you know, it's out of mind. So he never had thought in his mind, but he would have invited Krishna to his place. So he was not bothered about it. He was doing his duty as the as the as the king, as the minister. So we know Krishna expressed he said that I will go to Vidur house to stay and I will eat there. So, Krishna just left, 
went there. There were nobody. There was just uh, Vidur's wife at that moment. So, arriving there, the wife, when he saw Krishna, he, she, became so much absorbed in the love that she, she could not do anything. So Krishna went in. Uh, expressing to the to to the wife of Vidur, say, Mother, I am hungry. Please feed me. So at that at Vidur's place there were nothing to be offered, you know, nothing grandiose, you know. Not uh, like all these other Duryodhan and uh, all the others had. No, they didn't have. And what they she had she had only few bananas. So she took the banana, peeled the banana, gave the peel to banana uh, to Krishna, and threw the banana away. And Krishna was enjoying the peel of banana, you know. Didn't say that. Uh, Hey woman, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. And he was enjoying it with so much bliss. And at that moment there was so much love into into the the place. But when Vidur came, saw what his wife was doing, he was super shocked. <laughs> yeah. He said how can I come, you know, how come, you are the Lord, you know, of the universe, you know. And this woman is even giving you the peel to eat. <laughs> Not aware of the, in this state, you know. And you are just eating it without saying anything, Lord. Then this Krishna said, my dear Vidur, it's not that what I crave for, you know. What I crave for is this love, you know. The love that she's offering this to me. It doesn't matter. It may be the peel, not the banana. But the love that she's offering it to me. That's the ultimate. So. You see here, yeah, but Lord, don't long for anything. And we have everything. And the, in one of the, in the Psalms, you know, Psalms 54, God said to Solomon, you know, I possess all the mountains and all the creation. All this happened for my will. Do you think I long for the, for what you're offering, for your sacrifices? If I want a topic, I just take it. But what I uh, long for is a heart, a sacrifice of the heart, which is full of love and surrender. That what I long for, you know. This attitude of surrendering, you know, and uh, love from the heart. But even a few leaves, a few drop of water and the leaves is, is enough because the love 